welcome to the game show that in all the fairy tale world is talking about fairy tale best friends. I'm your host, Smiley Robert, and today three fairy tale friends are hoping to be selected as a contestant's new best friend. And since each and since each person can only have one best friend, we're here to help. Let's introduce our potential friends. She's no stranger to delicious baked goods and hosts the popular podcast, Beware of Wolves. Please welcome the stage, uh, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm proud to be here, Smiley. Next up, don't let her sweet face fool you. This fairy tale favorite loves to let loose and explore new places. You might know her from the hit TV show, Woodland Cribs. Please welcome the stage, Goldilocks. I love you, friend Smiley. Finally, Magic Wands, Fairy Dust, and Little Mice are just some of the, her tricks in her are just some of the tricks in her bag that make this Wish Network celebrity life coach a hit with her fans. Please welcome the stage, Fairy Godmother. You look better in person than you do on TV, Smiley. I hear that all the time, Fairy Godmother. I would remind the studio audience that our uh, our potential friends are not allowed to reveal their true identities to the to our, our contestant. That said, it's time to introduce our fairy tale friend looking for a best friend. She loves long walks in the woods, uh, baking cookies, and playing the accordion. Please welcome to the stage, Gretel. Smiley. I've never had a friend outside my brother Hansel, and picking a best friend is even scarier. Not to worry, Weddle. Here on Fairy Tale Best Friends, we have selected three excellent candidates to be your one best friend, and they are sitting just on the other side of this divider. Wow, now I'm even more nervous. Perhaps you should tell us a little about yourself. Uh, before you begin your questions, it says here that you and your brother are into hiking? That is correct. Our stepmother convinced our father to abandon us in the woods, and while difficult at first, we did run into a sticky situation with a witch, we found that we both have a true gift for hiking. We now try to hike at least once a week, abandoned or not. What a sweet story. Are you ready to find a friend? So ready, Smiley. Take it away, Gretel. My brother and I once found a cottage made of cookies in the woods. We both really like sweets, so we were immediately drawn toward the dwelling. What type of food cottage would grab your attention? Friend one? Great question, Gretel. As a food connoisseur, I find that bread what makes the best foundation for a solid shaped cottage. I know a baker in the village that makes a dynamite brioche. brioche. I would love to see what one of those giant babies would look like as a decorative roof. Sounds delicious, friend one. Friend two, what would draw you toward a house in the woods? I travel quite a, a lot for a living, and I've been drawn towards many Airbnb, but never one of food. If I could pick any food that would pull me in, I guess I would have to say porridge. Porridge? How would a cottage be made of porridge? I don't think that would be possible, but could you imagine a pool full of that delicious breakfast delight? It wouldn't it couldn't be too hot or too cool, but if it was just right, I would flood in it for days. I would give that location five stars. Sounds relaxing, friend two. How about you, friend three? What a delightful idea. A cottage made of food. Let's see if I could be if I would be drawn to a food dwelling. It would have to be one made of cheese. Cheese? Oh yes, you see, I have many mice friends and associates, and if and I could just imagine having a place for them to relax and be creative. They say that the way to co-workers' hearts is through their stomachs. Imagine the dresses they could sew if they were surrounded by delicious cheese. That's very thoughtful of you, friend three. I've heard the answers from round number one, so now it's time to move on to round number two. While I try to focus on the positives in life, some things really bring me down. Ovens that lock from the inside is one of my biggest pet peeves. What makes you crazy, friend three? Great question, Gretel. It's hard to be a life coach in fairy tale land. I guess I just wish that for once a friend would want me to listen instead of solving all their problems. I am a great listener. That's a true gift, friend three. Friend two, what is your biggest pet peeve? 
I would have to say that my biggest pet peeve is poor craftsmanship, Gretel. There's nothing more worse than a carpenter who doesn't take pride in his product. I travel the world looking for quality products, um, products, and it's amazing how many times I'm disappointed. Why, just last week, a chair broke beneath me, and I sadly still have the splinters to prove it. Goodness, that must have hurt. How about you, friend one? What's your biggest pet peeve? Oh. Wolves. Would you like to elaborate? I've seen things. Awful things. I would never want a friend to go through what I have been through. One more question, Gretel, and it will be time to pick your new best friend. My, they're all so great. Let's see if this question makes my decision clearer. It's girls' nights out and the sky's the limit. What would you we suggest we do, friend two? That's easy. I would plan a five-star cottage tour of the cutest bed and breakfast in the woods for us. No girls' night for us. We would have the perfect girls' weekend. We could rise easy, eat a hearty breakfast, take naps, and then join, join up to shop for st sturdy antiques in the area. They just don't make the furniture they used to. What a great girls' adventure. How about you, friend one? What do you plan for us to do? I heard that you said you liked hiking. So I would plan a trip to see my grandmother. You would just love her. She was on the other side of the world so we could take a basket of bread and cheese and make a day of it. A walk in the woods would have would give us time to talk about life and share stories. And now that the wolf is gone, we would be safe to enjoy the hike, worry free. Sounds perfect, friend three. What do you? For, sounds perfect, friend three. What do you plan for, girls? A bit of fun. Anything your heart desires, Gretel. I treat my friends very well. If you like dancing, balls, bippity boppity boo, I would make the perfect carriage out of a pumpkin to take you there. If you enjoy shoe shopping, bippity boppity boo, I know a fabulous cobbler who works in glass. We would plan our fun adventure as a team. You really are a thoughtful friend. The time has come to pick, pick your one fairy tale best friend. Time is up, Gretel. Who will it be? Friend one, friend two, or friend three? I have a question, Smiley. That's not how this works, Gretel. Well, I'm confused, Smiley. Why am I only allowed to have one best friend? It, it, excuse me? I mean, all of these three ladies sound just amazing. You sound great too, Gretel. Why one best friend? Why do we do this to ourselves? You go, girl. I like the way she's thinking. Ladies, ladies, this is the way the world works. Women have one best friend and then other less best friends. Says who? Says, uh, says people. Listen, Smiley, I've been stuck with my brother Hansel because people said that we have to be a team in stories. He's fine and all, but I came to this show to break out on my own and find new friends. Why would I let people once again tell me how to be happy? Each of these ladies has something I would enjoy for a friend. Friend one, for example, seems to really know food, and I love food. Really do know great places. We should go ramen sometime. I know that's amazing little ramen. Sounds great. And friend two, you love to travel. I bet you could show me some great places to explore. There's a little cottage on the, on the coast of Italy that has the most amazing beds. Not too hard and not too soft. They're just right. Sounds like perfection. And friend three, you sound like the kind of person I would love to share secrets with and maybe even receive some advice from. Oh, the talks we can have. Whoa, 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 ladies, this is not how it works. The show is that you pick one best friend. So who, who's it Who's it gonna be, Gretel? All of them. 
Ladies, what do we say we break the rules and all become best friends? I think we'd be really good for each other. A best friend is someone you share life with. So why limit that kind of special friendship to only one person? By saying that we only have one best friend, we're maybe missing the group of amazing best friends that is possible. That don't work. I'll be best friends. This is not how it works. Oops, Smiley. Looks like you lost your smile. If two people can be best friends, what am I going to do about this game show? I think a new a new name's in order. What do you have in mind? We think we have found a solution. It's time people make their own rules for friendships. So we think your game should be called Smile with Smiley. I like the sound of it. What would I do? Well, you're clearly great at bringing friends together. So why don't you do just that? You giving a friend's place to connect will really bring smiles to faces. Just don't try to box friendships up into preconceived rules. Let them grow into whatever they will be. Hmm. I like it. And he, I know just the first contestant to have on my show. Your brother Hansel. With all these new best friends around you, he's going to need a best friend crew of his own.